Today in our 2012 Toyota 4Runner, we're going to be doing a test fit on the Yakima Jetstream Crossbar Timberline Tower Roof Rack System. I've already got it in place just to give you a good idea what it looks like. Now this is specifically designed to mount to our raised rails on our 4Runner. With this system, it's going to allow you to carry roof mount accessories, things like bike racks, kayak carriers, cargo boxes, and much more. It features 60 inch crossbars. You can see here how they span across the whole roof and then some on top of our 4Runner. This is gonna allow us to maximize our accessory capacity. So not only can we use that area on top of our roof, but we can also use on the other side of that Timberline Tower. A lot of people like to use that extra space for more accessories. Now, the crossbars are made out of aluminum. We don't need to worry about rust or corrosion. I've got the black installed, but they're also available in silver. So if that's something you're interested in, see eTrailer.com. Now they're gonna work with your standard clamp-on accessories. They'll also work with your T-slot accessories. You simply remove that end cap and we can slide that T-bolt right over that rubber strip. There's no reason to trim or remove and it's gonna give us that nice clean look. Now you'll notice the crossbars are aerodynamic. These are gonna be a lot quieter than your traditional round or square bars. So these are definitely a step up and a premium option. Moving on to the towers. Four Timberline towers keep those crossbars in place. These are what clamp around your raised rails. They feature a rubber coated stainless steel strap. The nice thing about them being rubber coated is we don't have to worry about them harming or scratching the finish of our raised rails. Now underneath our cover here, you can see how it protects our hardware. This is what keeps the rubber strap from being accessed. Once everything's tightened down, the cover goes back on. And if you'd like, you can pick up some metal locking cores from eTrailer.com and it adds a little bit more security. That way no one can remove your roof rack system from your raised rails. Now the Yakima roof rack system features 165 pound weight capacity. You do, however, want to check with your 4Runner's owner's manual to see if your roof can support that much weight. You'll want to go with whatever number is lowest. That way we can safely carry your accessories. Now that we've gone over the features, I'll go ahead and show you how to get them set up. I've already got that front crossbar in place mounted to my raised rails on my 4Runner. The rear one installs the same way. Let's go ahead and do it together. Now on my white table here, I've got one of my Timberline towers already installed. We just need to repeat the same process on the other side. So what we can do to make it a little bit easier, let's go ahead and turn our Jetstream crossbar over. That way that bottom channel is visible. We'll then take our Timberline tower and let's go ahead and remove the cover here and undo the strap. Now we've got some assembly here on top. We'll need to take our fit kit for our Jetstream crossbars and install it right here. So we'll take the black piece first and we're gonna give it a good push until it clicks. Then we'll take the metal piece here and just place it directly on top. Now we wanna hold it in place as we turn it over and push our strap towards us. And that's gonna open up the hole here, that way we can tighten it down. So we'll take our included tool, put it down through here to that Allen bolt and tighten that down all the way. Now our included tool here is going to click when it's properly torqued down. That's one of the unique things about the tool. Listen for that click and then we can turn it over. Now we also need to be sure that it is loose enough, that way we can slide it into that channel. So if it's nice and solid and not moving, you'll need to loosen up that Allen bolt just inside the hole here. But since ours is loose, we're free to go ahead and slide it in. So we'll just line it up with the channel and push it on. Now it may take you a few tries and the other thing is the rubber on top of the Timberline Tower can catch on the bottom of the Jetstream crossbar. If that happens, just give it a good push with your thumb to push it back in place and then we should be able to slide it the rest of the way on. From here, we can put on our end cap. Now we don't need to worry about setting it to the scale on the back here. We can adjust our bar overhang on top of our 4Runner. But with that being said, we're ready to set it in place. Now when we set it in place, we wanna be sure that that larger round portion of the bar is facing forward, that's gonna be the front. And we can really set this anywhere we want on our raised rails, but we still wanna set it to where it's gonna work best with our accessories. So we can gently rest it down. I'm gonna make sure that that strap goes underneath the raised rails to make it a little bit easier on myself. Just guide it underneath. 
and I'll go ahead and measure that crossbar spread between the two. So I'll grab a tape measure and we just wanna make sure it's the same on each side. Again, making sure that it's gonna work best with our accessories. Actually, that looks pretty good there. Let me make sure it's the same over here. After we get the crossbar spread set up, there's a few other things we need to do here. We need to be sure that the Timberline tower is sitting directly on top of the raised rail. I don't know if you can see this here, but there's actually a little indicator line. We want that sitting on top, directly on top of the raised rail. So I'm just gonna lift it up slightly and scoot it in until we've got it center. From there, we can take our strap and then connect it to the two hooks here. Now, if you don't have enough excess, you can loosen up the Allen bolt here. So I'm just gonna loosen up a little bit more, pull it towards us and connect it just like that. From there, I'm gonna tighten it up a little bit and then I'll do the same thing for the other side. With everything loosely installed, let's go ahead and check that bar overhang. So we just need to be sure we have the same distance from the tower here to the outside of the bar on each side. Now you're welcome to use a tape measure for this or you can just eye it up. It's up to you. Looks like I need to come this way a little bit. So I'm just gonna grab a hold of it. And since we left it loose, we should just be able to guide it out fairly easy. That looks pretty good. Once that's done, we can then tighten it up. Now again here, we'll listen for that audible click in our tool. And that's how we know we've got it properly torqued down. Just keep tightening and tightening until you start to feel some resistance and then you're almost there. From there, we'll also want to tighten down the Allen bolt on the inside. And what that's gonna do is lock the Jetstream crossbar in place to the Timberline tower. That way it can't be moved from side to side. And then we'll repeat the same process on the other side. Once everything is tightened down, it's as simple as putting on our cover and we're all set. You're free to load up your favorite roof mounted accessories and hit the road. But with that being said, that's gonna complete our test fit of the Yakima Jetstream Crossbar Timberline Tower Roof Rack System on our 2012 Toyota 4Runner.